everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're gonna go over the new tools tab that is available to all dealers to put runaway or suppressed signals in the radio or on the Napco knock from reporting to central station. So in the tools tab, we can now, and every dealer has access to this, can put a signal on test on the radio, which means it will not send that signal into the knock at all or will not process or we could put a signal on test at the knock where the signal could come in, but it would dead end at the knock and not report to central station. So for a runaway condition, um, we prefer everybody to do a radio test where it was to put the suppression test on the radio signal only, and it will not come in. Now you may ask me, well, if the radio is in a runaway condition, how am I gonna send a download to that radio to put that signal on test? Well, we have something called the temporary halt where we could We'll say stun the radio for five minutes. You can do it up to four hours after that amount of time. It will um, go back live. When the radio is on a halt, it will halt every signal from sending. This is just so we can send a download to it to put a zone or a code on test. So five minutes should be more than plenty to put a couple of zones or contact ID codes or pulse 42 codes on test. So we'll click send stun command will go and connect to the radio and send the stun. Okay. So now the radio has been stunned and no signals will come in until either the five minutes is up in this case, or we click a cancel command. So if we have a, a zone that's going into trouble and restoring it may have different um, codes to a contact ID code so we could press the entire zone. So for example, we could do this. If we just had a condition like a ground fault, which is a contact ID code of 310, we could just suppress that reporting code itself. And if we happen to have a pulse code, we could just suppress that code as well. And then we would want to pick on test on the radio. Click save. And it will download into the radio so the, any contact ID code that's reported through it, that's a 310, will not come into the knock. And we could do the same for the zone 993. It could be any zone. and that we want. And if it's a zone, it would have to be three digits. So if it was like a zone one, you'd want to do zero, zero, one, or if it's zone 10, zero, one, zero, for example. And we'll show you what time it was put on test, the date and time. Again, also if we had a contact, I say pulse four two code, we could do the same thing where we could suppress that in the radio. So any uh, 42 code of 44 would not come into the knock. Again, this is the preferable way for any kind of runaway condition to su put it, suppress it on test on the radio. We also have the option where we could put it on test on the knock where the signal will come in to the knock but dead end and not report to central station. And again, it will give you the time and date that the signal was put on test. Now, in order for the radio to send a signal, if it's still in a stun condition, you click the cancel command. And now that everything is loaded in there, if we wanted to come back before that time, we would could click the cancel command and now the radio will go back online and we'll send everything again except for signals that we put on test in the radio so just to review we went over how to put signals on suppression test on a radio where they won't come into the knock and also if they do come into the knock they will dead end and not report to central station now to clear out these commands you would just click the cancel button and for signals that were put on test on the radio itself, it will send a download. You have to do each one individually to put it back online. Okay, 
So now that everything has been cleared out, all signals will be sent. Just to show you, you can see if something's on test, it will show on test on the response and will not go to central station. So now just to review, we went over the tools tab, how to put signals on test on the radio so they will not come into the NOC, or if they do come into the NOC, where they will not forward to central station. Again, the radio signal on test is our preferred method and how to temporarily halt and stun the radio and cancel it to put the radio back online. As always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.